Delegates, I'm Steve Walder, representative for House District 8 in the state of Utah House of Representatives. I want to start out by taking a minute just to thank you for the time and effort you're putting in to devoting hours to research, vet, talk to, and understand the principles and positions of different candidates for the different offices. You have difficult choices to make and um, we trust you. We believe that you have the ability to find those who are best suited to represent us in uh, these offices and to ensure that our state continues to move forward and continues to be a leader in our country in protecting freedoms, encouraging and expanding um, economic prosperity, and creating opportunities to make our state an even better place for our kids and our grandkids to grow into. We just finished this morning a the second day of a special session dedicated to addressing the issues of the coronavirus uh, outbreak that has impacted so many across our state and also in the nation and the world. So many people have dedicated themselves to protecting us, the frontline workers, the doctors and the nurses and others who have public service uh, have taken the time to put themselves out there at risk so that we can be safe and protected. Our efforts in this special session revolve around both dealing with the financial impact of what's happened, but also creating a pathway where we can responsibly and quickly move forward with our economy, getting people back to work, getting factories opened again, getting stores open, getting restaurants, and doing so in a safe and expeditious manner so that we can uh, avoid any further significant impacts from this outbreak. Uh, it's devastating, it's been devastating to many people and it will continue to harm our economy and our freedoms if we don't come up with a solid plan and execute it. We have a plan, we're working hard on it and I believe it will have a positive impact and Utah will continue to lead the nation in appropriate and efficient responses to difficult situations. I appreciate the opportunity to represent the citizens of District 8 and I pledge my efforts to continue to do so through this difficult period and on into the future. We have a fortunate, wonderful place to live. We are very blessed and I'm very blessed to have the opportunity to serve you. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or comments. I'm always available. Thank you.